Hey guys, it's me, Zell, and here we are with the next episode of The Mandalorian, Season 3, uh, Episode 2 of Season 3, but Chapter 18 of The Mandalorian Story, also given the title, The Minds of Mandalore, which I don't know if this was something that my browser did or whatever but generally they don't give the title of the episode until they're in the episode but anyways we kind of knew that was coming anyways we saw um the mandalorian or din din jin din i don't know why i have such a hard time getting his name because the first and last names are so similar anyways din is going to go redeem himself in the minds of mandalore to cleanse himself so he could be reaccepted into the group he grew up in that um, Bo-Katan is like, uh, that's a cult and they suck because they kind of screwed over our group of folks by breaking us, separating us and not helping us win Mandalore and get destroyed or whatever. But anyways, she's pretty uh, depressed now because everyone left her and she doesn't have the dark saber and she doesn't, she has no purpose in life. Feels like she doesn't, so. Uh, but Din asked her and she said no, so off he goes with uh, little Grogu and we're gonna see what's in store. So that'll be exciting. We're gonna see the state it's in. We're gonna see if there's anything salvageable or whatnot. We're gonna see maybe if Bo changes her mind. She's like, you know, I'm just gonna go because I'm kind of curious. Let's see. I'm excited. So let's get to it. Chapter 18, The Minds of Mandalore. Oh, we got a party going on. Are they just racing? Racing through the city. No, thank you. Oh, there she is. And there are a lot of parts missing. Fine, I'll push it back out in the street. You heard him, pit droids? No, 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 So she's, he's making a pit stop to see her. Should charge you more, considering now I got to work Boom to Eve. Yeah, me? You know, I do have a life. Big holiday. I have big plans. What are they trying to do? Right, let's get this thing back together again. Quickly, before he sees you. Go, go, they go, go, stole go. the part so she can run. Paint them so they look different. Shady business. Shady business. Seriously, <laughs> what? Where's my guy? Oh my gosh. Taught you how to leap like a lerman, huh? I need a droid that can explore ahead of me oh. and test the atmosphere. Make sure it's safe to breathe. Is he okay. or scared? Oh, he's like, nope. He's hey, scared. Get right back here, right back here, scary boy. This R5 Astromech is built for adventure. What? Of course you are. You're supposed to be piloting starfighters across the galaxy and fighting tyranny. This little baby here can even co-pilot. Hey, She's really trying bolts, to sell it. I'll sell you back to the jungles. You ready for an adventure? Yeah. So what's the astromech gonna do? Not that I don't mind astromech. We see a lot of them, but the home world of our people. Every man can trace their roots back to this planet. And the Beskar mines deep within grew up there, on that moon, Concordia. Oh. And that's Kalevala, where we visited Bo-Katan. It's in the oh. same system. I was going to say, yeah, it's not very far. A Mandalorian has to understand maps and know their way around. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, poor guy. Oh, wow. How could they afford to... Let's destroy a whole planet on top outside of the Death the Star. Disrupted the magnetic field around the planet. Is that like all like radiation? So it's kind of dangerous for him to expose himself and the baby. R5, you ready? I'm gonna need you to scout ahead and analyze the atmosphere. It wasn't a question. Aww. Go over to that split in the rock and take an air sample of the ruins below. The droid will be fine. Oh, look at this little Take some readings to make sure it's safe. R5. Come in, do you read me? It's probably just interference. Grogu's making more sounds now. Fine, I'll go get him. Normally this is droid work. He can just pressurize his helmet. Wow, now he sounds very Vader. Whoa. So 
of the city. Well, they obviously can breathe, okay? Are those the ice monkeys? I'm still figuring it out. It's really heavy. Don't let that happen to you, man, though. Oh, he got knocked over. Poor guy. So, like, all this crystal happened when during the explosion, the reaction caused the crystals? So I don't recall... My visual of Andalore is them being in, like, this big old dome. Or cube or something. Oh! oh. I keep forgetting about that. I'm like... Heavy duty, too. Oh my gosh. Ew, there's a living creature in there. Grow, stay away. Is he still being, like, smashed? Bro. Oops. Uh... Okay. Okay. This is interesting, cool, and terrifying. Oh! <laughs> Don't get caught. Watch, look at him watching. Oh, piss. Get to bo The crocodile, oh. R5, we out. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh. Aww. Look at him go! He's doing it, guys. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He's learning so much. Take me here! Oh! Dang! <laughs> what happened to him? Download the astromech, find out where they were. Oh! She's like, okay, I can't say no to him. The power of reading body language. Yay! You staying there, R5? Bro, don't you dare take that ship. Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh, time's a-wasting. You don't know what that machine thing's doing to him. This was once a beautiful civilization. My family ruled it all. Now it's a tomb. Okay, are you with the Force? You must be quite good at it if you got back to me all alone. <laughs> the monkeys were hiding. And the flames are gonna come out. There's all the Mando gear. Oh. Did you think your dad was the only Mandalorian? He trying to suck his juices out? Oh, is he trying to... Take part... Oh, no. Is he trying to take body parts from him? Oh, that's pumping his stuff out. He pumping his blood out. Come on, we can't get you then, too. Don't zap her butt. Ooh. And she's wheeling it real well. Look at her. She's 
she did that like nothing. Are you okay? Ew, no. Can you move at all? What? What? I can't hear behind you. He's like, well, I tried. <laughs> continue to the mines of Mandalore so that I may be redeemed. Oh, he's still on that. It's just like, really? I honestly think that it's adorable that you actually believe these children's stories. But there is nothing magic no about obligation. the waters. I will take you. To the living waters? Yes. You'd never find them on your own. Not She's getting wreckage. excited about this place. Thank you. Don't thank me until you see Did she them. give the saber back? I was part of the royal family. I took the creed and was showered with gifts. But the rituals were all just theater for our subjects. They loved watching the princess recite the Mandalorian tenants as her father looked on proudly. Your father sounds like Talk a about your sister. man. Talk about your sister. I would have liked to have known him. He was a great man. Here we go. The living waters. She's like, woo. <laughs> You Hold can on. hear in her voice. These mines date back to the age of the first Mandalore. According to ancient folklore, the mines were once a mythosaur lair. Mandalore the Great is said to have tamed the mythical beast. It is from these legends that the Skull Signet was adopted and became the symbol of our planet. I swear on my name that I shall walk the way of the Mandalore and the words of the creed shall be forever forged in my heart. Oh, it's gosh! So is this mythical creature not so dead? Underwater breathing? Oh my piss. Oh my piss. <laughs> That's just just like the Mandalorian symbol. Bro. She's a believer now. Gosh, that episode. I love the way it ended. Just like her in disbelief. I'm loving this. I'm loving the, this dedicated believer, Din, going through what he committed to and believes in. And this person who's lost faith, lost her hope in Mandalore, is starting to regain some little bits by seeing how much he still has hope in the future and the way of the Mandalore. And holding on to the creed and it's also showing the beauty and like you know at first it kind of was showing like they were the extremists you know and in in some ways they are regarding like the helmet and stuff but they do have their community and group together holding some sort of community when they're spread out like din was saying and she's like ha ha mythical creature that was tamed yeah never saw that myself because she's been there once as a kid and then lo and behold deep 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 in the depths with our i guess since din was all the way down there are they suggesting that he got pulled down there or he's like whoops didn't realize how deep it was and got sucked under i don't know but um wow that creature was huge and terrifying and i'm curious too why it didn't attack her where it's he was she too fast was it because she's royalty and he somehow knows is it i don't know i mean if she's from the royal blood maybe he did sense and he's like nope gonna lay hands off i don't know a lot of cu curiosity in that moment um a lot of fun i have like chills still from that but it's really exciting like she was already taken aback like she was being haha all jokesy not serious and mando was still committed and in the moment saying the creed and she kind of saw you saw a little t 
turn in her. Like she was appreciating his dedication and the ritual having importance, not just like a show, but that it can have it depending on how you, how it impacts you, right? Even with that adrenaline rush surprise, another thing that adds to her building up her trust in this again. So it's just really exciting. It's exciting to see somebody's faith be reignited and because it, it, it brings in that heart and passion because she was somebody that was so lost and empty like she was just sitting there in her throne just like done with it all like leave me alone and then after helping him the first time and seeing like the city and stuff she's like okay i'll help you and then she sees the waters in his moment and then she sees this creature all these things are adding up there's always hope it's all about the people and the people can bring back to life what what once was yeah a really fun episode it was really cute to see you know grogu kind of step up but also obviously good on them for showing like he's a baby and this is really scary situation, um, but that he resorts to what he needs to take care of and protect who he loves, you know, his dad. <laughs> uh, and then the little asking for help and her just knowing it was so sweet. So yeah, really fun episode, really good. It makes me really mad that I don't have another episode to watch now, <laughs> but that's okay. It makes me excited for next week. I have, I actually really appreciate having weekly releases. It gives me time to sit and kind of just divulge in everything this episode gave. And lets my mind kind of speculate and have some fun on like, what if? What's the next thing? That's fun. That's something we don't get as much nowadays with our instant gratification and the binging and stuff. It's like it takes a bit of our creativity our world building and imagination away but these kind of delayed spaced out episodes gives us that little spark of interest again and i think that's really important so anyways guys thanks for being here it was fun i hope you had fun as well if you want to show support for the channel you know what to do you can like the video with a thumbs up if you enjoyed this and don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already that supports the channel but also it lets you know when the next video will go live be sure to hit the notification button, the little bell. That'll alert you once it's accessible and watchable since the schedule's wackadoo. So thanks for being here. Hope you guys are well, and I'll see you on the next one.